Welcome back. Today we have Lauren Patterson and Lucas Cower joining us from Dublin. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for having us. We're excited to be here this morning. I'm excited. We have a really incredible event. But first off, before we talk about the chili cook-off and the fall festival, I do want to address what's going on still in Dublin. I mean, you guys were heavily impacted by Hurricane Helene, right? Yes, we definitely were. And it's not done. The effects are still being there, still some without power. Yes, some people in the community are still recovering, so wow. we're just, you know, definitely thinking of all of them. All right, and so a lot of stuff has happened in the Dublin area. Hurricane Helene making a huge impact. Now, the event is still going on, trying to bring some sort of joy back into the community. And so I want to talk about what's going on. You guys have the Fall Festival and the Chili Cook-Off, and so what can we expect? Lucas, this is your second year doing this, right? Absolutely. Last year was our inaugural event. We okay. had a great, uh, great turnout. Uh, a lot of folks came out. We had a lot of events for the kids. Mm. Uh, and actually last year we had it at the Founders Park next to Morris Bank, but uh, due to the growth, we're going to move it to the market on Madison this year. And right. a lot of great teams are in and a lot of good chili. Okay. And I think we need to talk about it. Lots of good chili, 35 vendors. Lauren, what is going on this year? So we're going to have 35 separate vendors and then we're actually going to have 18 teams this oh year. So we have more teams than last year. So we're super excited about the growth in Dublin and bringing this back as a second year event. So we have some returning chili cooks and then some new ones. Okay. So it'll be a lot different than last year. And then we will have little sample cups for sale that everybody in the community can actually try the chili. We will have judges, but then the community has the opportunity to vote for people's choice. I love it. And so those prices that Lauren were talking about, you can get one ticket for a dollar, seven tickets for five, or 12 tickets for 10. And honestly, when you have 18 different folks making chili, you want to try it all, right? Of course. So Absolutely. what is different this year than in years past? I mean, this is year two. What's different this year, guys? Um, first different is obviously moving the location. Mm -hmm. We grew so much. So we're very excited to bring it to our market on Madison where we host other events. So um, everybody's kind of familiar with the area. So we're happy to bring this there. Something else we've added to kind of include our downtown merchants. We always want to do that. So we're having a scarecrow competition. Okay. So we're asking our merchants to kind of decorate a scarecrow however they want, have it set up at our chili cook-off, and then the community gets to vote on their favorite scarecrow. Okay, and so this is going to be a family-friendly event. The event is free itself, like um, they had talked about. I mean, Hurricane Helene heavily impacting, so trying to get people back to some sense of normalcy while we have it. I want to talk about what are you most excited for, Lucas? Well, it probably goes without saying, but honestly, the chili. Okay. And really, are you just, a beans and chili or no beans and chili? Kind I'm of a guy? beans and chili. Okay, okay me too. Good. I, I okay, like guys, we can this, stay for uh, this was a very important question. Absolutely, okay. I think that's more of a meat sauce. So okay. we're, we're going to have true chili, but honestly, we had such a variety last year, mm. um, and really, some of the non-traditional ones were actually the winners. Wow. Uh, and also, really, just the community coming out and the camaraderie and everybody getting together after all the struggles that we mentioned earlier with. Uh, Hurricane Helene and actually we still have some without water and power that are still trying to get their services back so we're just trying to do this for the community you wow. know to allow everybody to get out for it. And what does that mean to you Lauren? I mean we talked about it Lucas just said it there's folks still in the area without power still recovering why mm -hmm. is it so important that you have this community event to unite everyone? It's always important to have something to look forward to. Everybody always wants that thing at the end that, okay, if we can just get through this, we have mm -hmm. something to look forward to. So we're happy that we get to bring that to the community as something for everybody to look forward to. And then it also has a little something for everybody when it comes to the kids zone and then just fall activities mm -hmm. that everybody loves. So it's great to kind of have that morale boost to bring in your community together and enjoy something fun. All right. Now, if you want to find out more information, we'll have that on our website, 41NBC.com. And don't forget, it's going to be this October 19th, which is going to be next weekend from 12 to 5 p.m. The address is on your street. This will be in Dublin. There are tasting tickets available. One ticket for a dollar, seven tickets for five, 12 for 10, or just get enough tickets for all 18 vendors. Family-friendly event. You don't want to miss it. We'll have all the information on our website, 41NBC.com. Thanks, guys, for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having us.